Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Abel over here. Listen, did you know you can use your Backbone 1 controller on Mac and PC? Let me show you how to set that up. I currently have my iPhone already set up and we'll switch over to the screen here. And I can show you guys, this is just the Backbone 1 application. You will need this application uh, if you don't have it installed to actually get everything set up properly to play on other devices. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the little three dot on the top left, hit the little seg settings toggle and then go down to controller and then on play on any screen you should uh, see an option there and from there you can actually choose if you want to do you know iPad Google Chrome PC Android and you know Mac since I'm on Mac that's what it's gonna be on for me and you will need to disconnect your controller after you have uh, selected your option of what device you want to play on so I'm gonna go back here and I'm actually just going to physically just disconnect it and one cool thing about um, plugging everything up to it uh, to a different device like an iPad or Mac or whatever is that the actual little backbone icon that we do have on the controller uh, you can't see it now because it's kind of far away but I'll probably shoot some uh, b-roll to show you uh, what that looks like it actually changes from white to blue which I thought was pretty cool so go ahead and uh, just switch over to one quick game for you guys and I'll show you guys uh, how that works and what that looks like. So yeah, um, I've got Wildflower pulled up here. And as you can see, I'm not sure if I can actually capture this, but yeah, I can actually use, use this controller uh, to move around and things like that. Now you do have to keep in mind the uh, cord, you know, whatever you're using, uh, lightning cable to USB or USB-C, uh, it will need to be connected at all times while using the device. The reason is, is going to be because uh, there is no Bluetooth on the Backbone 1 controller. And I think this is the best way that they can actually get everything um, on the controller to actually work um, outside of using your iPhone. There is also one other thing you can actually use to um, play games with this. And that is actually going to be on the cloud gaming services such as Google Chrome, uh, Nvidia GeForce Now, xCloud, and I've actually tried it on Steam too and works well on Steam as well. Um, but you can use it on other services which is amazing and I can show you some gameplay here in a second. All right, so that we have uh, Halo Infinite um, up on xCloud and yeah, I can, you know, go through the menus just fine. Everything, nothing is laggy at all. Uh, one thing that they uh, do talk about in that announcement is that because everything is kind of hardwired and they've fine tuned it to be uh, as little as low in, when, in terms of latency uh, with this, which is very useful. Uh, I will say in a game like Halo or any kind of um, PVP style multiplayer game where everything gets kind of sweaty. Uh, this controller, uh, you know, it's nice, but everything, uh, like I said in my initial review of it, is kind of small. You know, the buttons are small, joy, the controller sticks are small, D pad is okay ish. Um, so, yeah, that is one thing I will say about this. So, I'm not going to go into anything competitive wise. I'm just going to hop into a bot mail lobby because that's exactly what I am. And while all, the, all this is loading, I was actually surprised that uh, Backbone Labs did get everything um, updated on with this controller to actually use that kind of functionality. I didn't even think that, you know, the, this device would have those kind of capabilities. But uh, the team at Backbone Labs, they did an amazing job uh, designing this controller overall. I've always uh, well, it is kind of small, but um, you, you you do get a lot um, with this device. You get your uh, standard L3, R3 buttons. Um, everything is pretty much packed into this t nice device and does fit in the palms very well, um, which I do like. So, yeah, I'm just using this controller right now uh, to kind of just go through these guys. I'm just going to get out of there. Just <laughs> no, sir. Yeah, I definitely can I'm not having issues with any latency with the controller raw. That was a rocket that someone tried to shoot out. Um, yeah, take that, your bot. So yeah, that is pretty much uh, going to be it for this controller. I, everything seems pretty smooth um, as far as when I press a button, action happens. Uh, when I zoom in, 
yeah, everything pre is pretty smooth. Let me grab this BR. Give me your gun. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, please give this video a like as it helps the channel and subscribe for more content like this. I'm about to die right now. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.